Hi, I'm Matt Noragi with FutureLogic. This video will show you how to install the printer driver for your Gen 2 Universal on a Windows XP machine. Before we start, with the printer not connected to the machine, let's go ahead and launch FutureLogic's DFU utility. Simply make sure the application launches and with the printer disconnected, your application will look similar to what you see on the screen here. Let's go ahead and close that out. So let's go ahead and connect your printer to the PC now. Use a USB hub and then connect the USB hub to your PC. If this is the first time the printer driver for this type of printer is being installed in this machine, you'll get a pop-up menu similar to what you see on my screen here. Best way to show you what to do is to let you just follow me along. Every printer has multiple interfaces. In this particular case, we've got two different interfaces uh, that we'll need to install drivers for. The interface called feature zero is the first one we'll need to install the driver for. When asked to locate the driver, simply navigate through in the program files and then look for the drivers in the directory called FLI DFU Downloader. Inside of that, you'll have a couple of options. You'll see SPC type drivers and DFU type drivers. This is a Netflix printer and we'll need to install the driver located in the SPC folder. So double click on that folder and go ahead and select that driver. Just follow me through this, click on OK, continue anyway, and then click on finish and we're done. Like I mentioned earlier, there are multiple interfaces with every printer. In this case, we have two interfaces. Feature 108 is the other interface that we'll need to install a driver for. Uh, just follow along exactly like we did with Feature 0. And when asked to select a driver, be sure to select the exact driver that you selected for Feature 0. If your printer is equipped with a third interface, uh, you'll see another pop-up window asking you to install additional drivers. In this case, we only had two drivers that needed to be installed, so we're all set. We can now double check and make sure the drivers were installed properly. Right click on the My Computer icon and select Manage. You'll have access to the Device Manager here. Expand the Universal Serial Bus Devices option and make sure features 0 and 108 have been installed. Let's go ahead and close that window. If you've done everything correctly, you should be able to launch the FutureLogic DFU application and note that the printer will show up on the program window. At this point, it's a good idea to confirm that the firmware number matches the firmware number on the configuration ticket. Now, dealing with Windows XP can be very tricky. If you're convinced that the drivers for the printer you've got connected has been installed, and for some reason when you connect the printer, Windows prompts you to install drivers for a new device again, I recommend you stop and run through a few checks. First, make sure you're using the same USB hub that was used to install the printer drivers initially, and make sure you're using the same port on that USB hub as well as the same port on the PC. Again, this is only a problem you'll run into if you're using Windows XP. Go ahead and launch the DFU application. And if you still don't see the printer, then you may wanna go ahead and connect your printer directly to the PC without the use of a hub. Be sure the printer is on. And if it's on already, you may wanna go ahead and try turning it off and back on again. In the end, you should see the printer show up on the DFU application window. Thank you for watching.